Breaking Trump official accidentally uncovered major crime Obama committed that may land him in prison, it truly baffles me that there are people out there that still support Barack Obama and his army of minions. These socialist elites are dead set on bringing America to its knees in order to gain complete control over the American people. Under the guise of hope and change, Barack Obama fundamentally transformed the landscape of our country. Thankfully, Obama's term was finally up and Donald Trump was elected to right all of the wrongs. However, instead of Obama slithering back into the dark hole of which he came, he stuck around to make all of our lives miserable. So, Obama decided to set up shop in Washington D.C. just mere miles away from the White House. Obama's intention is to erect a shadow government and flood the media with misinformation in order to take Trump down. Obama must have thought he carefully covered his tracks so that it would not point back to him. Well, it appears Obama was not as careful as he thought. You see, one Trump official stumbled across a crime that Obama committed that could land him in prison for a very long time. According to the Washington Examiner, the former Trump adviser who was reportedly monitored by the FBI to investigate possible contacts between the Trump campaign and Russia says neither the FBI nor the CIA are telling the truth about his role, which has resulted in an ongoing barrage of false information in the last three months. Carter Page made the accusations in a Monday letter to the House Intelligence Committee in which he asked to address the committee directly. I have learned from your committee staff on this Memorial Day holiday that I might not be immediately afforded the opportunity to address the false or misleading testimony by James Comey, John Brennan, ETAL as per our previously scheduled appointment for next week, Page wrote. In the interest of finally providing the American people with some accurate information at long last, I hope that we can proceed with this straight dialogue soon. As an example of false information, Page cited the Russian dossier that was reportedly used to secure a Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act warrant against him. The dossier was a 2016 intelligence product compiled by a former British intelligence officer, and was meant to be used by political opponents of Trump. However, it's unclear how much information in the dossier is accurate, and how much was verified by U.S. intelligence agencies last summer as a basis for obtaining a FISA warrant that allowed Page to be monitored. Page's letter didn't list a falsehood from Comey or Brennan, but seemed to imply that those press reports are evidence that authorities did use the unverified dossier to approve a warrant against him. In his Senate testimony last month, Comey said he wasn't permitted to answer questions about whether and how the dossier was used. Page then stressed that he needs to testify to clarify what happened. In light of the apparent disregard for truthful information at the foundation of the FBI's related investigations last year, it has grown more important than ever that I be afforded the opportunity to explain the truth, he wrote. In particular, regarding all of the associated nonsensical lies stated specifically against me during the recent testimony by various senior Obama administration appointees. For this reason, I hope that my future testimony might be allowed. Given the continuation of smoke and mirrors tactics seen in recent days, I would also urge the committee to investigate the growing evidence of collusion between Clinton campaign associates, Comey, and other former Obama administration officials, Page added. As you are probably aware, this began with the well-orchestrated pressure they sought to exert on the FBI to have me investigated last summer in the immediate wake of preliminary falsehoods fro the 2016 dodgy dossier. What this boils down to is that Obama knew that Trump and his team were being spied on the whole time. Also, Obama received information from foreign intelligence committees and issued wiretapping warrants without verifying any of the claims. Just so we are clear this is forgery and it is absolutely illegal. It is evident that the left-wing media and liberals are intent on bringing Trump down. They know that everything they have implemented in the last eight years under Obama, is about to be erased. They truly believed that Hillary Clinton would be elected so she could put the finishing touches on the destruction of America. Now, that Trump is in office they are doing all they can to protect Obama's legacy which is exactly why they are spreading so much misinformation to the public. I am grateful that Carter Page is stepping forward to alert us of their criminal deeds. The voice of reason is finally spreading through the country again and the left will eventually lose. Though what will make their loss even sweeter is that they will sabotage themselves.
if they had not been so arrogant with their criminal deeds we may have never noticed them. However, they cannot help but be proud of their nefarious plans which is what will bring them down in the end. Share if you think Barack Obama should be in prison. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.